this is Joe from What I'm Playing Now, and I am here with Clay and Ashley from Capstone Games. This is day one, I guess you could say, of Origins 2018. How are you two doing today? A little tired. <laughs> okay. Already. I think both of us will second that. Yeah. We stayed up pretty, we had a little... Uh little shindig last night. We um, were going to stop by. Yeah. We played Endeavor last night. How was that, by the way? Wow. Okay, we kick-started it, and I will say, glad I did. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Awesome. I mean, I was I was really surprised. I mean, it's it's got some nice worker, worker placement elements to it. Um, it's got a really nice engine building element to it as well, nice. which, I, we, which at first, when he was explaining the rules, when Mark was explaining the rules, I was just like, both of us sat there actually, because oh, we were playing with uh, people from Tantrum House. Oh, nice. Um, okay, those guys are good. You know, Will and Sarah. And so we were sitting there and, you know, me and Will were looking at each other like, okay, let's play the base game because they were asking if we wanted to do the expansion. And then we were just like, um, base game. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then, you know, we were just like, we were a little confused. But then once we got the engines going, it's pretty cool. It's very cool. The presentation of the board was really well. That's what caught But we're not here to talk about them. We yeah. want to talk about your stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a little sidetrack yeah. there. That was yeah. one of the things we did last night. Yeah. But your shindig last night, yeah. um, I'm a scotch drinker. That was one of the reasons why I wanted to stop by. Oh. But by the time we were done, we were exhausted. I bet. <laughs> so, like, we had this um, little, we have a room here um, right outside the exhibit hall. C-172? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so, like, uh, it started off with just a couple people showing up and then like just people kept coming in and in and in and everybody brought a bottle of a nice bourbon or scott whatever you know oh, whatever. Wow. you had some stuff too mm-hmm. and, <laughs> uh, yeah. and this morning you're drinking coffee i'm guessing <laughs> or a lot of water yeah. but it was a good time though everybody was just relaxed it was a good start to the show um we just had it, it was just a nice relaxing time chilling with people nice nice yeah like i said we were going to stop on by by the time we were done with endeavor it started a little bit later than what we were originally planning but um mm-hmm. you know we still made it through it and plus we have our dog with us that's one of the reasons why we stay here at the hyatt because oh, they nice. let us bring they the dog so we have to go take care of him so every now and then we need to go take dog breaks so <laughs> those are the best things, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to go see our furry kids so what do you guys have that you're showing at the show this year we are doing carthago that's our new release okay um i think it's going to be a perfect fit for origins because the crowd here is kind of the entry level style i mean you know more more beginner like gateway style yes and so we um carthago is our medium weight game it's 60 minutes to play and it's a multi-use card game so nice. see we're more we're more wildcatters i would say oh wow. <laughs> that's yeah. that's one of her favorites <laughs> yes that's awesome carthago has a lot of meat on it the decision depth is is there it's you choose from five different actions mm-hmm. but it's very punishing if you make bad moves okay and we, we played a couple games before we came here and the last time we played yeah. Ashley, like, there's, it's only 15 turns, and the last three or four turns, she couldn't do anything. Like, I literally couldn't do anything. <laughs> well, you could pass, and you get like, you get a little like. I uh, get a card that I couldn't do anything. With. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah, it's yeah, you can get. It was good. You though. can get hurt though. It was good. Yeah, like, here's, it was here's a little fault. here's a little benefit prize for you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. This is for sh- this is for showing up. <laughs> uh, you, can, you couldn't do anything here. You can <laughs> have this card. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's still a good game though. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, even if you don't necessarily like the heavier titles, if you like something that's still strategic and still you know interactive, it's a really good game. We do like the lighter ones, but I tend towards medium to heavier euros. Yeah. That's the stuff that I love to. But I'll play. I mean, I'll play anything. We play the lighter style games. Mm-hmm. I mean, I played Builders down at the local down at my local game store down nice. at Recess and everything, yes. and we had a great time with that. Um, I think we played it wrong when we played it because my buddy Eric who has co-hosted on the podcast with me a couple times. Uh, he texted me the next day and was like, yeah, that game went a little bit longer than it should have, and we did this, this, and this wrong. And I was like, mm, it was still good. I yeah. was like, even though we kind of made up our own rules there for a little bit. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, we brought the XL version, too. You guys got to see this. Okay, too. we're going to have to. We'll have to maybe get some pictures of that and maybe shoot a little bit of the, video of that back at the booth. The blocks are, it's just, it's like, it's, okay, I mean, so it's it, wood, obviously, but it's just like when you hold it, it's like, wow. wow. Are we going to have to wear it? It's 150%. Bigger. Bigger. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to wear hard hats or something while we're playing. <laughs> Especially if we're drinking while we're playing it, which is we have, so we sometimes do. So, hard hat. Climbers cosplay. <laughs> Climbers cosplay. <laughs> so, what other shows are you guys going to this year? You guys are hitting Origins. Then, I'm sure you guys are going to Gen Con. Yes, absolutely. Um, we're doing Gen Con, and then there's a couple like trade shows with distributors and stuff we have to hit. Right. Um, we're going to do Grand Con for the first time up in Grand Rapids. Okay. Um, and then we have. Another one. What is coming up after that? Essen. Essen. Oh, you obviously. guys are going to Essen? Yes. Okay, I'm a little jealous. I, I, awesome I may make show. it there eventually. That's if you can do one show <laughs> in your life. 
That is the one to do. Okay, that's that's the one in Germany, so I'll note that to her that yeah, we'll need to start just, saving up some pennies. Seriously. <laughs> the mo- and I'll just say this real quick, and then we can go to the next one. But the most expensive thing is your plane ticket. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Everything else is, if you can get that off the shelf, then it's it's even cheaper than renting a hotel in the United States. It's oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. But um, after that, we do Pax Unplugged. So. Are you guys hitting Pax Unplugged? Yeah, that is an awesome show, too. It's like I'm, an Origins, Yeah. at the end of the year. I've so. heard that. I've heard that. And um, we went to Pax East a couple of years ago. We kind of did a little round trip. We stopped in New York. We drove. We stopped in New York for a couple of days. We hit Boston, came back, and went to Niagara. So we kind of just did a circle all the way around for like a you know seven to ten days, however long it was. Um, and Pax East was a blast. Um, but at that time, a couple of years ago, it was a very small board game presence. Yeah. And it was mostly the video games and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Um, still, it was good seeing the board game stuff, but I, I wanted to go to PAX Unplug last year. We couldn't. Um, so I'm going to drop some hints maybe right now on video. It'd be nice to maybe go this year. It's around my birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Yeah, right? Yeah, we'll sing happy birthday. Oh, you have to choose between that and Essen. At PAX Unplug. How about that? I like that, Clay. I like that. <laughs> I will uh, do that. <laughs> so what other games... Are we? Sh- are you guys showing besides? Um, we have every XL builders, yes, climbers. or climbers, yeah. XL climbers, and Carthago, uh, Carthago, yeah, Carthago is. J- we just got it last week, so um, it's brand new, fresh, and that's the one that we're really showcasing. Yeah, one of the first games I think I played from you guys was Arkwright, which is a couple years ago, which I loved, which is in my collection. That was I first have. Release. If you see our videos, if, I don't know if they're on the if you could see them on the video, but there's like a whole section where it's all your games. Oh, I, I have a, I have a majority of your games already. That's awesome. <laughs> so I cry in Lignum. Those are my two favorites. Yep, Lignum. I think Lignum made my top ten. Yes. We did we did our top 100 games, um, and Lignum was very high for me. Um, I liked it actually more than Arkwright. I think there's just, yeah. I just really like almost the whole Rondell going around the board and just the selections you have to make. The planning. Uh, the planning. I with love the, the cards. How it's like, yes. this is a cool ability, <laughs> but you can't use it now. Yes. You have to you decide. Have to, yes, and those are, we actually played it down at the local game store probably like about a month ago or so. Um, one of my buddies pulled it out, and it was like right at the end of the night, and we were like, can we get this in? And there were three of us. We all knew how to play it. We just like banged it out in That's like awesome. an hour and a half maybe. And we were, they were like, you know, everybody's like coming over, you know, and since we know the owners and stuff like that, they were just like, it's closing. And we're like, we're counting score right now. We're, we're, we're like adding up and everything. Because it was like, you know, the store's closing at 10, and it was like 9.58. And I'm like looking at my watch like, we're adding up the scores. We're going to see who <laughs> we're, won this. We're doing it. So, um, But it was I was really stoked to get that to the table again because I hadn't played that in a while. Um, but usually when we play those bigger games, we usually like to do that on days where we have like almost full days where we can get a couple of the longer games in. Because your games do have a tendency to play a little bit longer. They do. They are a little heavier, yes. which is one of the reasons why I think I like them so much. It's an experience. It's, it's not like, that's the thing I love about it is it's when you play our games, it's a story. It's an experience. Right. You're going to remember it for a long time. Like you just said, like the last time you, I don't know if that was the last time you played Lignum, but there's a lot of memories to it. Yeah. Oh, there is. Yeah. Because the guys I played with were great guys. Um, some of the, the best people that I like playing with down at the store. Um, and it was just really cool just being able to knock that game out real quick. That's awesome. Plus, Lignum looks good. Um, the components, the board and everything, I think, look outstanding. Um, I had never seen the first edition, um, but the second edition had great table presence, I think. Thank you. I really like that. that. Arkwright as well, too. Um, yeah, Arkwright. Is... Arkwright is just, it's that's... That's a table beast. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's, that's a big and box. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, okay, we were talking about shows you guys are going to. So you guys are hitting PAX Unplugged. Any other ones? That'll probably, I mean, aside from, like, distributor events, there's a couple, right. of, like, Alliance games. Or Alliance has a big game day up in September. Yeah, I got to go to that a couple years ago, mm-hmm. which was really cool. Yeah, it's um, a good show. They, they, I mean, they're the biggest distributor in the United States. Right. And they, uh, they do a really good job there. Um, there's a couple, like, Small thing. I think that's honestly it, though. I feel like we've already done a few. Gamma. Yeah, we did yeah. Gamma. That was a big one. Um, I did ACD Games Day. I would have loved to have gone to Gamma this year. Gamma was awesome in Reno. It was really Except fun. we flew into Sacramento, oh, drove across the mountains, and then, like, we're in the mountains, like, getting gas, and, like, storm's coming on Thursday. <laughs> like, <when we're, laughs> oh, oh, man. Like and I'm like, now. what? <laughs> And I'm like, it's not a big deal. We're Whatever. from Ohio. You know, we know. We know. She's she's know. Okay. You guys, you guys are silly. So like on Friday, we wake up. It's like Christmas Day. It's like oh, in no. March. A foot of snow in Reno. And oh it's our gosh. son's birthday. We we were going to fly back on our son's birthday. But that was like we were going to be back for his birthday. Well, oh wow! And we didn't make it because we were the mountains driving were closed. through the. Oh my gosh! I think I went to one gamma. <laughs> it was terrifying. I think I went to one gamma show. 
showing my age here, probably 20 plus years ago. And I think it was in New Orleans at the time. Oh, wow. They did it down there. Cool. And it was actually really cool. Um, I had worked for a distributorship at the time, which is no longer around. Um, but it was actually really cool going to experience something like that back then. Wow. I mean, because it was basically back in the heyday. I mean, this would have been mid-90s. So this was yeah, like when Magic was starting. This is when Magic was. So basically, we were a distributor for Magic and Games Workshop. Those are the biggest things we did at the time. Man, <laughs> It's different now, I bet. <laughs> oh, oh. When I walk into some of the stores nowadays and look at, you know, what they have on the shelves, it, the stores have evolved so much in the, over the past 20 years. That's awesome. I mean, you know, back from when I had worked in them, and I don't work in them anymore. I do this now as a hobby, and I would love to be doing this full time. <laughs> We're pretty good at it. So we'll eventually maybe get to that point. So what else you guys got planned for the show? Any more drinking besides last night? <laughs> <laughs> we got, we got some fun meetups coming up. Because yeah. 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 if a a there is any more drinking, you need to tell us where that's at. Because we, we will. <laughs> well, tonight at Callahan's. We, we, yeah. like, we made like a few drinks um, as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Callahan's tonight is an, an event. Brawling Brothers, Man vs. Maple. <laughs> Brawling Brothers, Man vs. Maple, and Blue Pick, Blue Pick, Blue Pick. Blue Pick. Okay. So we'll be doing that. And then I think we're going to go on a little date. Because uh, we have two kids, and uh, it's tough to get out of the house a little sometimes. So nice. Yeah. Hey, you got to take that time yeah. away. Exactly. I'd love to do that, and uh, maybe on uh, Saturday we do the heavy cardboard thing, and yeah. that'll be it. But yeah, it's time's gonna fly. It's already yeah. Thursday, but yeah. When, now, what day? Did, what day did you guys get in? Yesterday. yesterday. You guys got in yesterday. Yeah, we, we got in Tuesday. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Yeah. I w- wish we could have done that, but maybe in the future we will. Because it's probably super chill. It's there's not much going on Tuesday. We got here around I think six p.m. or so by the time we got in. I mean there was like no lines at the hotel. We we'd like to do that because you know let's get the dog settled in. Let's try to get him accustomed no, to everything. Know what kind of dog? You have, he you... is a Westie. Oh, I have no idea what that is, but it sounds adorable. <laughs> He's it's, you'll, 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 you're you're going to see pictures. There's <laughs> pictures everywhere, and everybody loves him. He has a little bow tie on his little collar when he runs around. <laughs> They like him more than kids. Probably. <laughs> <It's> funny. <laughs> so he's definitely a trip. We brought him with us last year, and while he doesn't like outside too too much, he's perfectly fine in the room and everything. There's a little too much going on outside for him. It's a little, I think, yeah. overload for his sensory. You know, he gets that sensory overload when he goes outside. Start freaking out. But um, so, what else you guys have planned for the show besides some date night going on? Yeah. Are, you, are you looking tour, looking forward to playing any games at the show? Um, I mean, what are, what's something well, that you're looking to forward play to? Play one. Last night. <laughs> no, we were. I we were actually playing Cuba Libre. Um, okay. Starting to get game. into. And it was, it it just wasn't the right fit for the scenery or the atmosphere we were. Okay. In. Um, it started getting loud and a lot of people coming in, so we we had to stop. But you know, it's something I've never played. We've never played a coin game. It's definitely unique, but. Um, new games. I uh, want to check out Haba's booth because we have like a four-year-old. And yep, that would be perfect. Yeah. Yes, new stuff Always the there, best stuff. Yep. Um, I I would just like to look around, see what's out. So. Yeah, we're. I mean, there there is a few things that I want to stop by and see, but I. Unlike last year where I think I had like okay, I need to do this, this, and this. This year I'm like I think I have so many interviews set up. Yeah. I really haven't even concentrated much on oh i need to see this game this game this game yeah. I've, i'm like i want to talk to all these people and make a lot more contacts this year than i did last year yeah. um, especially doing the video and everything yeah video is good video's so good. the name of my show is what i'm playing now one of the things i always have to ask the guests mm-hmm. what are you guys playing now carthago what's it beside me what's, like, <laughs> what's hitting your table what's hitting your table at home carthago, carthago? um we, a classic <laughs> that we well i i really like it um we, we started playing seven wonders duel yeah oh. that's probably the most recent we love that one yeah. okay that yep that's another probably in our top 20 probably We're, i mean seven wonders is is okay it's cool um yeah. but i like duel is such a different experience really cool. yeah. i like that a lot that was, yeah. do you play with the expansion not or yet just base i've game? heard the expansion really is try good. try the expansion it definitely opens up the game a little bit more um after playing base duel for a little while it's i don't want to say it gets repetitive yeah, yeah it does get vanilla and i think those that pantheon that you add to it and everything i think it really refreshes the game some nice. um and it adds in some additional cards in there so that's that's, that's one another way i can you know kick your butt so. uh, she always wins though that's the weird thing Dude, man brother give me there i don't get it i am right there with you i'm like i am right there with you she goes you're not trying hard and that makes it even worse i'm like i'm, I'm going balls to the wall here like i am bringing everything i got and I beat you. <laughs> so I, I told you, I told you we like Wildcatters. The first time we played Wildcatters, it was me, my wife Kim, Jim, the owner of the store, and one of our other buddies, Jim. Yeah. And he, t- um, the one Jim taught it to us. And 
she was the only one who took out loans throughout the whole game. And Wildcatters? And and I'm sitting there and I'm like, she's not going to be able to pay this shit back. I yeah. go, there's no way. She flipping won. Nice. She was the that's, only, she paid uh, them all different. back and flew by everybody in the last round. And me and I'm, the other guys are sitting there. We're like, what? how did she just do that? <laughs> we were sitting there. We were like, what the hell? Yeah. I was just like, oh, man. I was like, it's I, it just never fails. No matter how hard I try, I'm like, no, no. There's there are some times I win, but it's I would say it's 75, 25. She's gonna win easily. Yeah, I think that's about. All I mean, it's and I'm just, I'm I'm just used to it. even on video now anymore. When I lose, I'm like, I don't even. It doesn't even bother me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm expecting it. It's like an expected. It's a, it's a bonus yeah. if you win. <laughs> the first couple of times, I'm like, I probably look like an idiot because I keep losing to her, and I'm like, oh, you know what? Heck with it. it it's good video. <laughs> Yeah, we play Concordia too, and same thing. That's on our. That's on my shelf, and that's one I have not taught her yet. That's I love oh, Concordia. Yeah. I like Concordia. That's been one I really it's wanted super to teach. Dry, her. but the if you like mechanics yes, and yes. the way the game system works, it is pure amazingness. Oh, like, yeah. the, the first time I, the first time I played it, I fell in and love with so it. So many different maps. So many. We only have the base game. I haven't purchased all the maps yet. Eventually, we'll get those. I need yeah, to teach it so really we start playing it more. But spice it up. Yeah. But yeah, I mean that's that's. That's typically what we play because we have kit. I want to get her into Castles of Burgundy. We were talking about that last yeah, we night. <laughs> As a two-player game, everybody says it's an amazing two-player experience. And That's another one. It's been on my shelf for a little while. I have yet to teach it to her. Mm -hmm. i played it multiple times over the years. We will each go home from Origins, and then we will play it this coming weekend, and then we will get back together and talk about it. I like yeah. that. I like that. Okay. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. We can, we'll, we'll post a video for that one. So, um, Anything else you guys want to chat about? Because I'm sure you guys got a lot of stuff going on back at your booth, yeah. so we don't want to keep you for too too long. If this is going to be posted at, during Origins, maybe I don't not. know if I will get a chance. But check out Carthago. We've got promo tiles too, which we're we're a small company, so it's hard to you know organize all that stuff. But this is the first time where when you get the base game, you get a promo tile with it. So you guys are small, but you guys one have put out quite a few games in the past couple of years. Two, as far as I'm concerned, they've all been great games. Thank I you. mean, all of your games, I've definitely. When I play them, I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to add that one to the collection. <laughs> I pretty much know if it's a capstone, you that's, know, it's, it's nice. going to get added to the collection um, because nice. they're they're definitely my type of games, the types of games I like to cover and everything. Thank you. So yeah. and it's it's nice because she likes them too. So it makes it even it's better. Win, win. <laughs> so, all right. Cool. I think that's it. I think we're good. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We're at, once again, Origins 2018, Clay and Ashley from Capstone Games. Definitely check out their games, and we will catch you later. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.